Okay guys, I am back and I think this is gonna be the final video in here and then we'll do a flip through real quick of it. Um, I went ahead and made this little tag here um, because I was um, waiting for that last video to download and sorry it was so long guys, but uh, time got away from me. So yeah, we're gonna make these little guys here. Um, so let me show you how I did that. Um, and I think while I was sitting there, I just, um, figured out exactly how we're going to do the closure, I think. I say that and then, you know, it changes or it doesn't look very good. So, um, I know that it's going to be, um, with the red, uh, Baker's Twine type stuff. It's a little bit thicker than Baker's Twine, but... I'm sorry if the volume's pretty loud on voice. I just, I had to stand to do this part because you know how your back gets when you're sitting and crafting for hours. Okay, and then we're going to use this one. I mean, these ones are already pretty aged. Um, so it doesn't need much, but okay. So I think we're done with the inking for a minute. All right. So what I did, I'm thinking, let me pull it back out here. Do I need, I need a whole nother one, right? Cause that's one, two. And I was going to do two for that other pocket. Let's do a third one, I guess. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Again, I think it's the cold medicine. All right, we'll do the blue one. How about that? Let's go for Oceana. I but I was going to pull that one out, wasn't I? All right, let's see. Okay, yep, it's the big punch. Okay. All right, so what I did... Kind of looked here, lined it up a little bit there, and then I just kind of eyeballed this about here. And then I took the gold, right? Yep, gold. Or was it the copper? I think it's the copper. Not sure why I did the copper. Um, anyhow, and then let's see, how about a little snowman? And we'll do a tree. And how about a stocking? Okay, and then I think I want some of these to, um, since we're doing several, I think I want red on this one. <laughs> okay, then I just cut a little bit of this. And this next part will take me a minute to do. Um, getting these threaded on those little charms is not an easy task. And then last time I had to kind of snip out some of the, the fuzz away from it to be able to get it down into that charm. Yep. 
just when you think you got it, you don't. Okay, I'm gonna collect just a little more because there's like a round piece right there. Probably about a thousand different better ways to do this, I bet. There we go. All right, now I have to rethread the other end, huh? Oh, no, there we go. Okay. All right, so there's one done. I guess technically two, right? Okay, I'll do the next one. Sorry about that, guys. Did you see that box elder bug? Ugh. Okay, let's try a little bit of the silver. Maybe before we thread it on the cards, I'll thread it on the tree. And we may have to pick something different than the stocking because I was just looking and it's pretty. The little holes are pretty little. Wonder I used our little pokey tool if that might might go in there a little better. Just need a little piece of it to go in there. <laughs> nope, okay. All right. Uh, oh, and it is never going to fit in that little stocking. Well, I don't know what to do now. Because that little end, I don't know if you can see it, but it keeps fraying. Hmm. Ah, 
There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 15 minutes later. Sorry, guys. I really like how that's shiny. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, and I'm going to trim these down a little bit. Okay, now number four. So we're gonna have to pick a different charm. How about some bells? That'll work. And since I really like how that silver looks, I think we're gonna attempt the silver again. Only I think we figured out how to do that. Um, I don't want to say quickly because, you know, that'll jinx me, right? Okay. But I do like how that silver looks with it. Okay, let's see if we can do that, do that again. Can't get lucky twice, can you? Oh, maybe we can. How about that? Not too much, huh? Okay, that one's like obviously way too long, so I have to clip quite a bit of that off, but I think I'll save it for another project. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's kind of clean this off a little bit. You just get to see that an ugly old mat there, how I stamped it. All right, we'll throw these back in the bin. All right, now what we're gonna do for the closure is, bringing all the desk ephemera, ephemera with me, I guess, too. Okay, so I think we'll do kind of like a standard tie a little bit. And I was trying to decide whether to do a small eyelet or a bigger eyelet. Um, Cause once you do it, you can't go back. 
and I think I'm gonna use the white on it. So, and I think white and that color is all I've got. So we're gonna, we are gonna wing it. Fake it till we make it, right? Okay. middle let's kind of open it up see if we're right okay I've already got this out and I've already got my setter in there okay and we're set how about that? Okay. okay. Now, my thought process is, let's see, let's do, well, that was right in your eye. My apologies, guys. Okay, now what I did to kind of age this up, which I'm pretty sure it's pretty standard and pretty typical, is I just took it like this. And it does kind of tear up your anchor, but It'll be all right. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do, hopefully, is stick this in through here. Looks like I'm gonna have to pick it through again. There we go. Okay. Now what I was thinking is you can wrap it like this and stick it down in here for quick journaling. I like if you're using it quite a bit, right? Or you can bring one around the back and one up here to the front. And we don't want to cut Santa's face off there. And one side is like way too long. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this though. Okay, and then I don't know what to do with these. I was originally thinking um, jingle bells, but I don't think it'll work too loosely like that. So maybe we'll just leave it like that, maybe? Or maybe I'll just trim them off. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip through this. Um, okay, so remember in the beginning, we have this pocket and then this little piece of ephemera is in here. Okay, and then we um, have Deb's kit, the map kit, the labels kit. There's a few backgrounds on some of the tags with, um, oh, well, we still have to put those in, um, uh, her fun Christmas kit. Okay, so this is the pocket we made with a little tag, a little tag up here. Okay, then we have um, more of the maps, Santa, and then this is how these turned out here. So they're just a little decoration here. And then we have some of that um, book pages um, that came from um, Shell at a Rambling Crafter. And then here is where these little tags are going to slot down in. And then we'll do a red one. No, we'll 
do the green one here, I think. Okay, so there's two of those little tags there. Some more of that book page from Shell. And then in these stacker pockets, we have this will go in the back. And then um, I took some of those pieces that we cut before, put a label, napkin label, and then Wink Estella. And we have a cranberry one and a brown one. That label says Xmas for Christmas. And then one of the file folders here. And then another one of those tags from Gail's shop. And then a tiny little tag here. Okay, and then we have a tag that we did together here and this pocket, and then it flips open for more journaling space behind here. Coffee dyed, coffee dyed, and stuck together. Okay, and then up here we have a tiny little tag here. It has a little bow on it in there and then I was able to cut these down a little bit and then they just they almost fit perfectly up here in these little banner tucks maybe oh my gosh oh that's what's stopping me up there we go okay okay it's more of the map pages then we have the little envelope and I went ahead and put that um, little baby tag inside of it We have the fabric flip over here. Okay, and here's our other time card here. It just slips up underneath there. Another little tag up here. Inside of those book pages, some more dubs. Um, that one comes in the Christmas kit as well. Okay, here's our other flip here, flips open. And then we have this tag here. And we come to the next stacker tag. That's where this last piece here is gonna go. So cute, so cute. Okay, and um, yeah, so same things. Obviously different card up here, okay. And then in this envelope, I stuck the other big tag that we had in the envelope. Okay, and then we have this last um, here, and we put that the big um, journaling card there. Um, one of the uh, slider tags, I guess. I don't even know if they have a name. Um, yep, so that's in there. And then another one of these little file folders. And then this one here, the little card here. Okay, and then the back pocket has another one of those slider tags right there. And then another tag that we made together up here. All right, and then the back of the signature and the back page. Okay, and so this one is, um, you can do either with. You can add more or have it just as it is. Um, so yeah, what I've decided to do is my very first journal on Deb's um, team, I did a uh, giveaway. Um, so on my last one, I'm going to do a giveaway. So this will be the 300 subscriber giveaway. Um, we are, we are almost there guys. Um, I think last time I checked, I needed like another 40, 48 probably, or no. Yeah. 48, right? Yeah. 48, no 38 subscribers to make it to 300. Um, so as soon as we hit 300, um, I will, um, draw and it'll be off of this video here. So make sure to comment if you're interested in having this giveaway and um, I want to thank Deb for the last six months. It's been really, really fun. Um, yeah, I've learned a lot, done a lot, and um, it was a pleasure using your graphics. 
So thank you everybody and I will talk to you soon. Bye.